Life is filled with risks, caused by hazards that we encounter as part of daily life, that we learn to handle from the time we're born. Handling them becomes like second nature. For example, in 2020, there were 1,195 road-related deaths in Australia. However, most of us still take the risk of getting in a car each day. Participating in many sporting activities poses a risk of personal injury to the body. But many people choose to participate in sport or exercise because of the benefits it has on them. So, what is a hazard and what is a risk? A hazard is anything that has the potential to cause harm to a person. If you think about hazards in your day-to-day -day life, the cars on a busy road that you need to cross are all hazards. Whereas a risk is the chance, whether it's high, medium or low, that the hazard will cause harm. When crossing the road, the risk of the cars hitting you is based on how far away the cars are from you. To put this into a workplace perspective, a hazard is anything in the workplace environment that might cause any person entering the workplace harm. And a risk is the likelihood that it will. We need to manage these hazards and risks in a workplace because there are additional hazards and risks that come into play in a workplace that you wouldn't otherwise be exposed to if you weren't in the workplace. Every workplace in Australia is legally responsible for maintaining a healthy and safe environment and to take measures to manage hazards and mitigate risks. There are five different categories of workplace hazards. Physical, ergonomic, chemical, psychosocial, and biological. A physical hazard is anything in the environment that could cause harm to your physical body. This includes vibration, heights, noise, and confined spaces. Some examples of physical hazards include wires left laying on the floor, faulty electrical appliances, slippery or wet floors, falling objects from high shelves. Ergonomic hazards are those that are caused by poor workstations or job design. They are often caused by repetitive tasks such as computer use, manual handling tasks or low lighting. Some examples of ergonomic hazards are poor workstation setup, poor lighting, repetitive lifting of boxes. Chemical hazards are caused by chemicals that might come in solid, liquid or gas form and may be hazardous through direct contact or inhalation. Some examples include pest control substances, cleaning agents, oven cleaners, bleach. A biological hazard is a hazard caused by an organic material. A common example is mould. A psychosocial hazard is the component of work that is likely to cause psychological harm to someone. Some examples of psychosocial hazards are work-related stress, bullying and harassment, and fatigue. Identifying hazards should be part of your everyday work tasks. It is everyone's responsibility to report hazards as they are identified in the workplace. There are, however, specific occasions when a workplace might undertake a formal hazard assessment, and this includes starting or expanding a business or opening a new location, changing work tasks, starting a new worker, working with new substances or new equipment. Thank you.